hi beautiful people today i'm gonna be getting my life together i'm gonna bring you along the journey <laughs> this last couple months i have just been not motivated not only just not motivated but not confident in my skill level in anything in life really so i just dropped off my kids first gonna go to the gym i'm gonna start going to the gym again because i was working out at home but it just doesn't do what it needs to do for me when I work out at home. To get some groceries just so I can make some healthy meals this week. Just kind of reset my life. I do some painting later. I would consider that a success. a quick stop to Michael's because I need to get some jars. I want to do overnight oats. Well, that that worked out. I had a $10 voucher. Got four of those and it was $2, so it was like 10 bucks. So I didn't have to pay for anything, which <laughs> say less. sparkling waters if you haven't had them already you should try them i'm gonna go eat my lunch and i will catch up to you when i am finished uh, so a couple hours later i took a shower and then i was just so tired I took a nap but i need to like actually do things today so do you feel like Especially lately, I've just been in a funk where I want to be doing a lot of things. I talk to my therapist about this a lot because I have a problem with getting overwhelmed really quickly to the point where I don't do anything at all. I will actively avoid what I'm supposed to be doing or the, the task at hand, even if it's something that I love, like painting. I love painting. I'm always going to love painting. But even sometimes when I am super into a piece, for instance, and it's getting more and more detailed, I get more and more inspired, so I'm adding more things, then I get overwhelmed. And so I will stop doing it for, a, you know, an extended period of time, which I want to be able to do those things. And I will do those things, but I just can't do them in this one moment without getting overwhelmed. And I don't know what that's about and I don't know how to correct it, but that's definitely something that I'm working on. I feel like I could get so much done and go further in life faster if I stick to it. And it's hard for me to do that. I just get overwhelmed. <laughs> how to fix that? I would, I'm all ears because... I need help. I really do. Like, now that I'm a full-time artist, like, I don't really have the space to do that. I don't have the room to do that. And I don't want to sabotage myself to having to go back to work. I will, like, if I'm doing my best and then it doesn't work out, then I will for sure do that. But I don't want to sabotage it myself. With art, I'm not going to do basic paintings to not overwhelm myself when I know that I can achieve more. I don't want that to be the case, so I kind of just want to figure out how to work around it and figure it out. So yeah, if you guys have any tips, let me know. But for now, we're gonna go do some meal prep. <laughs>
I started this piece to represent my past, present, and future self. And I wanted to use a very, very, very limited palette. So I'm only using three colors today. I'm using sap green, titanium white, and carbon black. I wanted to see what I can do with just those colors. I, I feel like when I do limited palettes, it makes the piece more dynamic with values and shapes and different things like that. So I wanted this piece to be like that. Because I haven't been knowing what to paint, I really was just going in blind with this. I, I just wanted to see what I could do creatively. I had no vision for it. I just wanted to kind of work off of a feeling because I haven't done that for a while. And that is actually one of my favorite things to just paint and get lost in the process of painting because I don't always get there. There's, there's this place that I go to when I'm painting sometimes that's just like a deep, I don't know, it's like I... I just don't have any thoughts I'm just painting and when I get to that place like I just always push my creativity and I love it so I was just trying to get there <laughs> while painting this so I just had to basically clear my mind and just paint and like whatever happens happens so as I was painting it the theme of it kind of started coming together and then you know it just triggered something in my brain and i knew exactly what i wanted to do for this piece this isn't the final of this this is just the background for a portrait that i'm doing but i wanted to give this a story and so i wanted to focus on making the background tell that story and so I wanted to do, like I said, past, present, and future self. Um, the past, you know, you have a lot of doubts and you have a lot of events that are just the worst, but they build a foundation for your present self and kind of having some of the lines be shared throughout the different columns. So it's like, some traits and ideas follow you throughout your life and so i wanted to have that kind of consistency throughout but then also the different shades of colors represent different things as well so like black is the not so good things the green is just like kind of regular life stuff and then the white are like really happy moments and so i wanted to put some of those like pops throughout the black side as well because again in life even if it's darker days you still have good memories from your past and so that's what I wanted to showcase with that this piece like it just kept coming to me as I was going so I was just adding it as I was going but then I thought about the different choices that we make and they all put us on different paths so I started making different paths uh, from the lines that represent of of the different points in our life. And so I, I really got lost in the sauce when I was painting this, which I felt so good with because again, like I haven't felt like this in a while. Like I just haven't known what to paint or haven't had a concept that I actually could get behind and felt like true to me. So this was exactly what I needed and I'm really excited for the portrait part. I don't really have it all detailed yet, but I'm I'm excited for the progress of this. If you would like to stay updated on the progress of this piece, I would definitely consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you here on this anxious artist corner of YouTube. <laughs> but until next time, bye beautiful people.